Namaste, Anyo, Konnichiwa. Welcome to our online workshop. I'm Su Yu, your host today. Oh no, not your host. I'm your partner. Yes, I'm looking in this MCU world, so let's follow this rookie to enter the MCU world by a simple exercise. It's okay if you don't have any background knowledge because this course is for anyone interested in MCU, even you are beginners. There are three parts of this course, including two concepts and one exercise. The first concept is ecosystem of the new button, and the second concept is what we call golden three steps. And we will implement these two concepts by one simple exercise in the end. Okay, no more time to waste. Let's get into today's topic. First, let's talk about the ecosystem. What is the ecosystem in the MCU world? We think the ecosystem is a complete environment. In this environment, designers can execute tasks and reach the goals of every step more efficiently and easily. In other words, a complete ecosystem can help designers to reduce the burden and save lots of time. As a result, Newbotton provides you a complete ecosystem, including MCU itself with various calls, development platform, reference design, IoT platform, and digital platform. Because this course is designed for beginners, we will focus on the development platform. There are five items in the development platform. The new maker evaluation board, the hardware development tool, also known as the debugger and programmer, the software development tool, the Integrated Development Environment, IDE, and the Boss Pro Package, BSP. Simply with these tools, we can do the MCU development efficiently. But there are lots of questions that may come to your mind, like how to use these tools, where to buy the evaluation boards, where to find the latest information. Don't worry. You can find all the answers on Newmotion's digital platform. Newmotion's digital platform can give you all you need, whether you want to purchase the product or require some online support. The latest information and the training course will also be posted on Newmotion's YouTube channel. We believe designers can improve the performance and the capacity by simply using the ecosystem of Newmotion. At different steps. Wait, what are the so-called steps? Correct, it's Newmotion's golden three steps we have talked about. We think there are three steps in IC's life process: development, mass production, and upgrade. Using the ecosystem we mentioned, we can complete all tasks in these three steps in a quick fashion. We will focus on the development step, as this course is for anyone interested in MCU world, including beginners. This picture illustrates the process of the development step. Connect the evaluation board of Newton to the computer via the debugger and the programmer. Then you can do the development in the IDE on the computer. And in this development step. You also get supported by our BSP, both the Pro package and software tools such as Pin Configure and Pin View. According to the process of development, there are five main tools in this stage. The first two tools are the evaluation board and the debugger and the programmer. Our new maker board is equipped with the new Link series debugger and the programmer, the USB connector. And the quick start link. We will have a further introduction in the exercise session. And the third one is IDE, an integrated development environment. We provide three types of IDE, including Cal, IAR, and New Eclipse. Users can freely make a choice. This time, we will implement the exercise on Cal later. 
Then the BSP Box Support Package consists of comprehensive drivers and planned for peripheral examples for all three IDE types. We will do the exercise by using the sample code of Kelp. Let's have a list the software tool, including pin configure and pin view. Both of them are graphic interfaces. Pin configure aims to do the I.O. setting, while pin view is for real-time I.O. monitoring. We will have other courses to introduce you to these two tools in detail. I believe you have already known our ecosystem, steps, and tools. Before the exercise, let's unbox our new Maker board first. You can purchase the board on new button direct, tag design, and DJ key. In this course, we will do the exercise on this board. N032SE. The NK means the new maker series. The M032SE is the IC PAR number. And the pin design of the N032 series is compatible with the N031 series. So the BSP of these two series is the same. You may see some file named in N031, but they are also fully fit with N032. Okay, it's time to unbox it. Yay! Here you are! Now let's have a detailed view of this board. This is our IC, N032SE. And here is the reset button. As we mentioned before, there is already an onboard debugger and programmer on our evaluation board. Here it is. As a result, the only thing you need to connect the board to the computer is a USB cable. The type of debugger and the programmer on the new Maker board is the new link to me. You can also find the version of it on the board. For other user scenarios, this new link to me can be detached as a stay-alone debugger and programmer. However, it is no need to disconnect it in the exercise later. If the MCU supports the USB function, we can demonstrate or verify the USB capability and charge the board via the other USB connector. The MCU doesn't support the USB function, it can also be charged via this USB connector. There are LEDs on the new Maker boards to show the status of the board. Designers can also perform some applications via these LEDs. New Maker Pro is also equipped with an external low-speed crystal oscillator, LXT, and an external high-speed crystal oscillator, HXT which designers can use directly. And here is the emitter pin to measure the IC power consumption. Furthermore, NewMaker has two kinds of extension connectors. This one is extended from pin directly, and the other one is compatible with Arduino Uno. Because NewMaker's MCU supports a wide range of operation voltage, we serve users with various ways of power supply. There are four ways to supply power. The first way is the 5 volts from the USB connector. The second one is a V-in pin of Arduino, which can input the power from 7 to 12 volts and will be reduced to 5 volts on the evaluation board. IC can receive the power from these two sources via this switch, and the power can be direct one with 5 volts or reduced one with 3 volts. The third way of power supply is the VDD and the VSS pin of the board. The input power from the VDD of the board will be sent to the VDD pin of IC. The first one is the USB connector of the new link to me, which is also the most commonly used one in the development stage. The method of voltage adjustment is on the real side, so let's go to the back side of the board. 
You can adjust the position of a resistance S J P R one on the real side of new link to me to switch the power value, and the default is three point three volts. No matter which power source you choose, you should check the voltage IC support. You can refer to the user manual for more details. And here you are the compatible IC list. So both of these two ICs can be designed by using the same board, Newmaker N032SE. There is also essential information on the real side of the board. On the lower right corner, you can see the size edges of this evaluation board N032SE in this case. Today we will follow the quick start of this site to do an exercise, which is to execute a sample code in the BSP. Without further ado, let's get started by the quick start. Besides the real side of the board, you can also go to newbutton.com to find a quick start. You can access the web page in this order. Software and tool, evaluation board, particular board, N032 SE under MD series in this case. And quick start. Then you can see the procedures of quick starts. The first step is IDE download and installation. After clicking the link, you can access Kel's web page to download IDE. As it may take much time, we ask the attendees to download and install Kel in advance. <coughs> We recommend using the default installation path, right under the C drive. After the installation, you'll have the KL MDK Lite evaluation version. If you are using Newbuton Cortex M0 or M23 based microcontroller, you can activate the free KL MDK Newbuton edition by following the web page guide. Then let's get back to the quick start page. The second step is the installation of the new link driver. Just click the link to download and install the driver. If you have more than one KL MDK installed, please find the correct KL installation path for new link driver installation. For example, if you want to install the new link driver, for KEL5, choose the KEL underline V5 folder name under C drive. In the third step, we need to prepare the BSP. Please click the link to download the file. A BSP installation path or a project folder name that contains spaces or special characters might cause problems. Please avoid that. After the driver's download, click the executable file to install. When the installation is finished, please install the new link USB driver also. Don't forget to unzip the file for the BSP's download, or we can't execute the project successfully. The installation and the file unzipping may take time, so during this period, let's see all quick start procedures beforehand. The steps are illustrated like this. In this exercise, we need to print out some words by the URL interface, so we ask attendees to install the terminal emulator in advance, such as Putty, which is open sourced. Steps 1, 2, and 3 are software preparation. You can refer to this video for IDE installation if you need detailed instructions. This one for new link driver installation, and this one for BSP introduction. You can also download Newton's BSP on GitHub. Step 4 is hardware setup. Step 5 and 6 are to open and execute the project. 
Then we can see the result on the terminal window. We have already done the step one, two, and three. Then let's go to the step four hardware setup. In the hardware setup, there are three things to do. First, as we need to turn on the UR transmission between MCU and the new link to me, we need to switch BCOM number one and number two on. Then connect the new link to me USB connector to the PC USB port via USB cable. At these two steps, we can go to device manager to check the status of virtual com. Let's go back to our PC screen. Open your device manager and check whether the new link to virtual com port is connected. As you can see, the com port number is 4. Please be noted that everyone's com port number may be different. You will get your com port number and please keep the number in mind. Let's go to step 5. Open the unzipped BSP. Click the file, sample code, and you will find the file name template. As we will use Kale as our IDE in the exercise, please open the file of Kale. Then we can enter step 6, project execution. Open the project template. Let's have a glance at the main code. This project aims to print out Hello World via the UR interface at a baud rate of 150,000 and 200. We will have an other workshop on the features and the application of peripherals in details. It's okay to keep the value 150,000 and 200 in mind in this exercise. Then click the Rebuild button to compile. After the project is compiled successfully, we can click the load button to load the compiled program into MCU. After finishing step 6, we can go to terminal emulator to check the result. We take Putty as an example here. First, select the connection type as serial. Fill the serial line color with the virtual COM number as shown in step 4 and enter the 150,000 and 200 in the speed column. Then click the open. Here you are. You can see the hello world on the terminal window. If you can't, push the reset button on the board. By following the quick start, we finish our very first project efficiently and quickly. It's just a piece of cake even for the very beginner, right? Let's conclude this course so far. This course is for anyone interested in MCU, even beginners. By following the quick start, we complete our very first project. All the steps in the quick start correspond to the procedures in the golden three steps we mentioned. We hope you can get a better understanding of the development step by this quick start exercise. However, don't you think something is missing? Yes, you are right. Our software tools, the pin configure and the pin view are missing. We will introduce these tools one by one later. So, this workshop includes three courses. Quick start, pin configure and pin view. You can find all the resources mentioned on our website page of software and tool. We will also provide you the slides later. Moreover, there is a Q&A session at the end of this workshop. We can give you all the support immediately, if any. It's time to say goodbye, my partner. Oh wait, what's the rush? Let your mouse go. Don't click the left button so early. Our veterans can wait to introduce you to the pin configure and the pin view. We will also upload this video to New Water's YouTube channel. Please share and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials, webinar playbacks, and the new product releases. 
don't hesitate to join us. Welcome to our SU world. So let's see in the QMA session later. Stay tuned. Bye bye. Ciao. Namaste. Annyeong. Mata ne. Hello everyone. My name is Min Yang. Today we introduce new tool pin configure. The new tool pin configure is used to configure VPR multi functions of the new tone in my core family. Its features are listed below. Configuring by the tree view, or configuring by individual pins, or configuring by adding the registered value directory, or generating the call or report through the application. The user can configure GPL multi functions of Newton Numico payment correctly. Now, open the browser and key in the Newton keyword. Enter the Numatone website. Click Software and the Tool, Software Development Tool, New Tool Suite, and find New Tool Pin Configure. Download and unzip. Open the New Tool Pin Configure. The New Tool Pin Configure window includes three components MLP Regit Preview, Module. Preview and the triple view. First, the user can select the expected trip series and the part number. The current value of the MLP register are displayed in the tree view. The user can edit them directly by the double clicking on the expected one and enter a new value. After updating the corresponding checkbox of the module tree view and the triple view will be updated. In the module tree view, the user can configure the peripheral pin, which type a module or its individual GPL multifunction is checked in the checkbox. The triple view status and the value of the MLP regions will be updated at the same time. When the pin has been configured to a module, the relate text in the track bus will be marked in red. If the user wants to configure the pins again through the tree view, a dialog box will which list the config information will be involved. Clicking the Yes button, tool will make the adjustment of the config. Clicking the No button, tool will not will only configure the remaining pins. To find a module in the module preview, the user can input the module name in the search field. After input, the match text in the checkbox will be marked in four and the attendant. In trip view, move the mouse cursor to the pin and click on the left button of the mouse. And then select GPL function. The tree the tree view and the value of the MLP register will be updated. The pin will be highlighted with the with the green color if the configuring by the tree view or with the orange color if it is configured by the individual pin. To disable the configuring pin, just select reset. In toolbar, it provides safe configuration to save current pin configuration to file or load the pin configuration file and uh, generate the call. To run new key, click the run new key button. New key can generate the ORK or hotel library file. To show the pin description, click the switch pin description button. To adjust the chip view, click the ring in or ring out button. To disable all check module, click the disable all checked module button. To select UI language or other settings, 
clicking the setting button. Finally, to read user menu to get foreign detailed information, click the user menu button. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Hi everyone, I'm an FAE in New Newton. My name is Nick. New Micro Pin View Tool is a monitoring and visualization tool that can show the current status of I/O pins on the device immediately and inform users of some common pin configuration errors. It can run as a standalone application or be used as a plugin for KIO or IAR IDE. First, please go to Newton's official website to download PinView and the new leak driver and install them. Select software and the tool tab and click the driver button. If you have not installed the new link driver before, please install the new link driver. Click new link KL driver version 3 to download. Because we chose the KL IDE, we click New Link KL Driver Version 3 to download the file. Then, click New Link Suit on the left side and download New Tool Pin View. Please start to install after downloading. Click the installation file. Follow the guide to install. If new link USB driver version 1.7 has not been installed before, please tick install. And we have completed the installation steps. After installation, open folder according to the installation path. Then you can see the there is a manual file in it. You can refer to the teaching file and how to use it. Next, let's open the pin build tool. Choose the Cortex M series. Then connect to our development board by USB cable. We can see the name of this development board. Here, I choose the M4A3KG board. You can see the status of each pin of the chip on the main screen. The status here is GPIO, which you can see the input mode and its low potential. Then, you can see that there are many different colors on it, representation, different settings. The cutter point out the UR. It is the RX signal, so the arrow is point inside. You can see that the above setting frequency is 12 MHz and the baud rate is 115384. The red part on the right side means there is an arrow in the setting. The SBI does not set its clock source. This is I2C setting and uh, its control function isn't open. We can use this pin view tool to detect the status of the pin in time. In the upper left corner, you can set the frequency. That means how often it will check the status of the pins. We have an example here. We press the button on the board, and there will be high and low changes in the pin status. Because this is an input signal, you can see the arrow point inside. In the lower right corner, we can see the LED arrow is pointing outside. The LED flashing represents high and low changes in the pin status. What I show you is the independent execute of pin view. Now, we open the kill project and enter the debug mode. When we enter the debug mode, we click the wrong button, and you can see the pin view on the upper toolbar. Therefore, 
we can change the status of the digit in time in the debug mode. Then, we can also display it on pin view tool in a real-time manner. That's all our pin view tool tutorial today. Thank you for your watching. Again, from now on, it's a QMS session, and here, here you have our two senior engineers, Howard and Joe. You can feel free to text your question in the QA box. We will answer the questions verbally or by text. Before answering questions, we also have some good news for you. If you want to purchase the new Maker N032SE, we have mentioned in the course. Please visit New Mountain Direct e store and enter the code NW and you will get 90% off. And there is a survey after this webinar. Please fill out our survey. One of the respondents can win the prize new link to Pro. So don't forget to fill out the survey to win the prize. The survey will show up right after you leave this webinar. So now it's time to the QMA session. Howard and Joe will start the question answering. Please leave your question in the QMA box. Hi, uh, I'm Joe. I'm FAE from Newberton. So uh, we have a question for uh, on kill license for free. So uh, yes, we have uh, we have a, a Newberton edition license for kill uh, kill five. So uh, you can go to our website and find uh, a a link. That uh that is uh the kill install installation link, the kill uh installation file download link. Okay, so you can click in to this web page and you'll find the our uh, license uh number. So you can you can uh get the license step by step uh uh and get the information from that web page. And um, I believe we uh, we've show the web page uh, in the in our our video, or we can show you right now. Okay. Let let me first find the web page. Okay, uh, let me show my screen. So uh, right now you can see this is our web page. 
and please find uh, the web uh, the download page from here. The software and tools, IDE and compilers, and then click here, and you'll find our KLMDK New Button Edition. So you enter this web page, and there's a so this is our KLMDK Newbutton Edition download page. So you can download the MDK installation file here. And uh, this is our product serial number right here, just for Newbutton Edition. So uh, under this page, you'll find the guides that show you how to uh, get the license. Okay, so this is how you can get the license right here. And um, I think the license is for one year, but you can uh, continuously uh, get uh, the uh, get our new button addition, addition license you know, year by year. So I think uh, although right now you only got I saw one guy said you only got three months, but uh, you can you can keep using it because uh, we are still uh, have this. Uh, Newbutton edition contract with Kale. We're still uh, we're still partner with uh, Kale. So yeah, you can use this. The record of this webinar will be updated to uh, our YouTube channel. So uh, you can go to our YouTube channel uh, just frequently, like uh, day by day, and and you might find some interesting uh, content or video in our channel, not just uh, this webinar. We also have many kinds of uh, tool introduction in our YouTube channel. And we also have uh, a video concert con concert uh, in our webpage. So uh, we have the same content, we have same video in here and in our YouTube channel. So you can see, uh, we, we also introduce our latest product or our latest uh, application or reference design. And if you have any uh, questions or interest about this kind of, uh, this, uh, latest product or latest reference design, uh, you can feel you you feel free to ask us by our online chat. You can see uh, you can see the the uh, orange circle here. Okay, you can you can talk to us. You can talk to us by clicking this orange circle, and yeah, this is our online chat support. And if you subscribe our YouTube channel, you'll, you'll get the notice of uh, we up, upload our new video. I, I how, uh, and uh, if you want to use the NDOS32 uh, NCU, you can use our uh, new Moton Kyle. It will, uh, will sell the limit of 32 kilobyte. You can download it by our website. Here is a uh, uh, 
，牛魔通开有 NDK 牛魔通 Edition。So, uh, this new button edition, uh, this free for uh, when、uh, when you're using our Cortex M zero core or M two three core microcontroller, you can use uh this KL MDK new button edition. It's for free, and if you want to use uh our Cortex M four microcontroller, there there will be a little bit fee to pay. But is is a、uh, is a great price, so you can consider about it. Here is the special for for Cortex M four. Uh, new model microcontroller. You can see here is uh uh three hundred ninety five per unit. You so after this special sorry. offer to development our M four microcontroller. So after you got uh the new button edition license. Then you'll have the uh the prof the professional version and all the uh code size limit is gone, so you don't you don't get this code size limit anymore. Uh, someone said uh the. The entering voucher, the button up for entering voucher is not activate. Uh, we'll we'll check on it. So I'm sorry about that. We will check on it. If you if you have a、uh, some question, you can use the Q and A window to send your question. Uh, if you want to contact with our FA, you can, uh, use our online chat support. Online chat, all right. Because uh, you can you can connect you can you can talk to us uh by our online chat. So all our uh all new buttons FA will. Uh, work the shift of uh, this online chat. So,、uh, please feel free to ask question、uh, by online chat. So,、um, yeah, I I try the voucher.、Uh, I just try the voucher and and it works.、Uh, I think it it works. So,、uh, please,、uh, this is a very good price. So please use this voucher and to. To get our、uh, new maker board. Okay, I see a poor a question for what is the difference between digital I/O pins and the SPI pins. If you use our microcontroller, you can use I/O pins to pull up the voltage, uh, to VD volt. And the SPI pins is a.、Uh, Multi-function to control the SPI signal. You can send the data data by a special register, like the uh SPI uh data register. Uh, 
you can use GPI register to control GPIO and the SPI register to control the SPI data. Here, here is a data register for SPI. This one. So you can write a 32 bit data in this register. And then it will send the data by a SPI and OSI pin. And the next question is how about support on ready made Kyle project found in your and it was 32 BSP. If you want to use the Kyle project in our BSP, you can go to the Numaton GitHub. The name is Open Numaton. Then you can select the and it was 32 BSP or download the BSP sample code. And 0, 31 and 32 use the same BSP. It's the same BSP. Okay, you can download this BSP by GitHub. And the, the sample code already include this BSP. A sample code standard driver, here is the driver sample call. You can choose a SPI sample call to, uh, to development your application. This is for Kyle and the IAR. Oh, and the, here is a GCC version. So uh, our BSP support three types of MD, uh, three types of MDK. Uh, the first one is Kale, uh, which is uh, we uh, we demonstrate in uh, most of our video, and another uh, another is IAR, and we also have uh, our version of MDK called New Eclipse. So you can use the GCC project in uh, the New Eclipse MDK. And inside our BSP, uh, the standard driver, uh, uh, we build almost uh, we build all our main functions in our IPs. Uh, we build sample codes of it, so you you can see inside the STD driver uh, every functions uh, every IP's main function uh, are demonstrated in our std driver folder so uh, i i see another question uh, which ide you suggest for m0 uh, m032 so uh, because we support this three uh, we support this three mdk so uh, we support this three ide so yeah, uh, all of all of these three IDE, uh, we we can recommend. And uh, for us, um, uh, we use Kale the most. So if you have any uh, questions, uh, you can ask us, and 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 we're more familiar with uh, Kale, actually, and IR also. And we also have some uh, development tool like uh, PingView we, uh, we, we've we talked about today. Uh, we, we have a, a uh, how to say it? We have a little tool in the, in Kale and IAR, little PingView tool. 
in KL and IR debug mode. So uh, most of our debug tool, uh, uh, no, not most of uh, the pin view as uh, a support in the KL and IR. Okay, uh, we have another question. Is it able to post any video on how to start using BSP sample code with ping config and ping view? Like VCOM serial port emulation driver found in M031 and M032 STD for real field driver. Um, so, Um, the the pin config uh, is to choose uh, like is is to arrange what uh, multifunction pin you want to use uh, in the application. So um, you can also use pin config to find out, for example, you already open a. Uh, a sample call in our STD driver, and you want to know uh, which exact pin that uh, shows on the MCU, then you can find in our pin config. Okay. And uh, so the pin config it is actually uh, with, it's a very simple tool uh, to use. So we actually should demonstrate almost uh, almost every uh, basic function in our ping view uh, in our ping config. And right now uh, uh, on the screen, you can see this is uh, how the ping view works under kill debug mode. So when uh, your project is on a free run, and you can. Uh, uh, free run under the debug mode. You can open the ping view uh, windows and you can have the real time IO status in the ping view window. So uh, right now Howard is showing you uh, how to open the ping view window under KL debug mode. Okay, so after you click this and the ping view window will show up and you'll see uh, there's a MCU, there's a MCU uh, figure here, and and we list all of the uh, all of the ping on this MCU. So for example, right now Howard is using M four seven one. Okay, so uh, you can see the ping view has uh, there's many kinds of colors on the pin and 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 uh, every color has its um, meanings for example uh, how I just show uh, the orange one is, uh, is the the pink color in orange is already set to UR function so right now uh, you can see uh, the UR setting, for example, the flower setting and the clock source of this UR. So, so you can use the ping view to debug your project and to to uh, to see like you want to set one, uh, you want to set your UR correct, and but the the waveform looks different than you expect. Then you can you can not only just uh, measure the waveform, but also you can uh, get into the debug mode and open your ping view to see uh, whether the setting of the UART is correct. Or you can use ping view to, to look uh, whether the IO setting is correct. Or if, if there's any leakage, so we'll, we'll, show, uh, we'll show some arrow uh, uh, in red, if there's any uh, abnormal happen on that pin. Do we support any 
RTOS with debugging. Uh, Howard, uh, may you answer this question? Okay, okay. so you also can enter our GitHub. For RTOS, we can support free RTOS. So, and then you can check our BSP sample code. Here is a free RTOS sample code. It also support the free ID. And you can use this free RTOS to develop your RTOS debugging system. Okay, if there is no question, maybe our webinar will finish at uh, five o'clock. Um, there is one more question. Uh, does ping view function available if we connect a uh, target board with new link? Yes, because there's a standalone uh, ping view. So after you install uh, our ping view tool, uh, there's also one standalone tool that you can open it. You can find it uh, after you install PingView in your computer. So you can open the standalone PingView and connect uh, or connect your target board uh, through new link to the computer. Okay. Then the same the same uh, function. Here, there's the same function here. You can you can monitor uh, the I/O ping on this on um, this standalone ping view tool. I think there is one more question about RTOS. Can you see the chat box? Um, uh, RTOS debugging needs uh, some uh, intensive function for new link. So like the uh, New Link to Pro, it can support the uh, uh, ETN trace. So if you need to debug in RTOS data structures, uh, you, you maybe need to use New Link to Pro and uh, connect the ETN trace interface. Then it will show the command and the data by the ETN function. Okay, so uh, today's webinar is already uh, the end. So thank you for every guys and the uh, uh, if you have any uh, requests for our Nimoto microcontroller, you can contact to our support, uh, online support, online support window and the uh, call uh, request. Uh, thank, thank you, thank you, every guys. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.